Hello, my name is Linda Jo Martin, the book lady, and this is my Bible TBR. To give you a little background on my Bible study, I will tell you that I started reading it probably about 20 years ago, and it took me about 20 years to get through it the first time. Yeah, that's true. I started reading it when I was not a Christian. I wanted to read the Bible because I knew that it was the most popular book in the entire world and in almost every household in the entire world. So I wanted to know what the book said since it has had such a great influence on our civilization. After I started reading the Bible, my life started changing and transforming in amazing ways, unexpected ways, not exactly in Christian ways. It took me about 15 years to transform from who I was before to get to the point where I wanted to become a Christian. And I have been a Christian for only about four years, maybe four and a half at this point. I became a Christian on July 14th, 2013, which was the day after my 61st birthday. And I didn't finish reading the Bible, the complete text of the Bible, until last January 2017. So it took me a long time to get through it the first time. When I wasn't a Christian back in the 1990s, I started by reading the Gospels and most of the New Testament for reasons I don't really understand. I skipped the book of Acts and went instead to the Torah and I read Genesis through Joshua and then I quit and didn't read like in an organized manner for a lot of years. However, when I became a Christian, I took the Bible back up again at the book of Judges, which is right after Joshua, where I left off, and I read the rest of the Old Testament, and then I turned to the New Testament and read the book of Acts while I was on an airplane on my way to Houston. That is where I finally finished reading the Bible in its entirety in between Denver and Houston last January. So since then, I have only read two books of the Bible. Well, I've, I've read in a lot of areas of the Bible. I mean, when you're reading the Bible, you skip around a lot when you're studying different topics. But I studied the book of John, the Gospel of John, and then I studied Genesis. Now I'm going to be reading the books of 1st and 2nd Thessalonians. They were letters that the Apostle Paul wrote to the Christians in Thessalonica, and possibly they were the first letters that he wrote, at least the first that ended up being part of the Bible as we know it today. So my intention is to read this book which is Beth Moore's Bible study on 1st and 2nd Thessalonians. She calls it Children of the Day, and it is an eight-week course. It's actually a workbook. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a lot of places where she says to stop and write something or go study something in the Bible, and then you fill out the workbook. Can you see that? So I'm going to be doing that for the next eight weeks, and during that time I'm going to continue to read Thessalonians in this Bible, which is my main Bible that I use. It is the Life Application Study Bible, um, King James Version, or New King James Version, and I've already read in the last couple of days the entire two books, because they're very short. And now I'm going through again, reading all the notes. There's a lot of notes in this Life Application Study Bible, like at the bottom of every page. So I'm going to be 
this time reading all the notes. And then when I'm done doing that, I'm probably going to go through the same two books using this Bible, which is the, what is this? New American Standard Bible. I really like this translation. And it is, this particular version is the New Inductive Study Bible, which comes from K. Arthur. And it is the Bible that you write in and you write on the words. I have a couple of books that I've already done it on. Okay, so like here's my Proverbs. You can see that I've totally marked up this Bible using the method that K. Arthur calls the inductive study of the Bible or something like that. So I'm going to be doing that with the Thessalonians. And then also my pastor, he has all his sermons online and he teaches verse by verse through the Bible. So I want to go and listen to everything that he said about those two books of the Bible. And I don't know how many sermons that was, probably quite a few because he will just do a few verses at a time and it's pretty intense. He has a lot to say. So that's my intention for the next eight weeks. I'm just going to focus on first and second Thessalonians and learn everything I can. So that's all I have to say about it. Today I am going to be reading first and second Thessalonians. It is going to be taking me a long time. We'll see how this goes. Well, until next time, happy reading everyone. I hope you're having a great day. Bye. For those of you who have been watching my videos, I might have mentioned that I have switched rooms. I'm now in my office. I was in my living room before and behind me you see right over there my filing table. And over there, it's a chase lounge. I sit in a chase lounge to do my computing, which is where I do my work and earn some money. So this is my office. I thought I'd come in here because it has more sunlight coming in through the window that's right behind that camera. Well, talk to you later. Bye.